And they're on their way. Later, going with his main Incineroar. And C, going with his main Lucario. Or as the announcer would say, Incineroar. And Lucario. And off they go into Town and City, one of the rare uh, starter stages we see. We barely see teams going into Town and City for the first game. Actually, in singles too, it's very uncommon to see this stage being the starter. However, they seem pretty comfortable in it. However, it's not really working out. They're building up a quite the percent. And C doesn't take that, but he does make it back into the stage. Apparently enough damage for Lucario to cover all that distance with his up B. Amazing how this character works. However, now, later on a pretty bad situation, he needs to find a way to put some damage into Oba. But now he loses his first stock. And now C is forced to go back into the stage, being protected by his teammate. Good on him being there. Now Panetta has his limit charged, and he has everything to take out. Save, however, nope, he is going to run out of it any second now. And yes, he is forced out of it. Oh no, he still manages to get out the limit cross slash and hits later. Put a bit of damage build into him, and that shadow ball hitting Panetta from across the stage. Oba, however, pulling up that forward smash. Ending Cease stock, and now later once again with quite the percent build into him. Panetta's first stock is looking about as hurt as later second stock, and that's never good. They need to find a way to play a bit more defensive or deal more damage because remember, a good offense is a perfect defense, and a perfect defense is a good offense if you can work it out well. But now so many stocks flying out the way. <laughs> Later, Oba and Panetta lose their stocks respectfully. Respectively, sorry. And now we kind of reset. C keeps his second stock. However, the blue team isn't quite at this advantage. However, remember, Lucario can make wonders in this kind of situation. Losing his stock builds up his aura. And although there isn't quite as much rage, it's still a monster. Rage plus aura Lucario is something to be afraid of. Now, Panetta has his limit charged. Later will want to be very careful. Also see, pulls out the forward smash, tries to catch Panetta off guard, but no, they both lose their stocks. Blue team at a pretty big disadvantage. This is looking like it's going to become a four stock. However, once again, Lucario can make wonders. He can take at least one more stock, I think. But it's gonna be quite difficult. Okay, he takes a couple of aerial moves to the face. And now a spike, he, will he make it back? No, he doesn't. And Oba is going down there, going deep, trying to get the disrespect. Doesn't work, however. And now we have an advantage. Oba and Panetta, 1-0 over later and safe. We're going into Kalos Pokemon League. The blue team wants some more space to run around. Are we going to see any character changes? Nope, they are all going to their respective characters. However, later wants to move the fan. Okay. <laughs> Anytime now. <laughs> all right, we're back into it. Later, back into his seat, back with the Incineroar, the blue Incineroar. We're going into Kalos Pokemon League for the second game of this Loser's Final Set. Three, two, one, go. And they're on their way! Pokemon Stadium Showdown. Well, no, it's Pokemon Stadium. It's, it's Kalos Pokemon League, but it's kind of a stadium, too. I wish this had seats. Anywho. Already a red team trying to get as many combos onto him as they can and if there's one thing that I have yet to see later doing is pulling out his revenge quite as often. Maybe he does but he has never quite capitalized off of it and the red team is getting quite confident approaching him so far. He never uses it so they know okay we can just combo him. He will never really use revenge. Perhaps it's not quite as helpful on doubles however because you can just hit, his, hit your teammate and off his stock goes. Panetta and Oba, well, they're, it seems like they're tossing around just some random aerial moves. However, they're generating some pretty good stage control with those because Lucina's and Cloud's range, although not quite as comparable, Cloud is a little shorter, 
They're still pretty competent characters, and... Okay, uh, against my odds, Oval loses his first stock. He's the first one to lose his stock in this game, however... Once again, the sword game is very important here because they cover quite a lot of ground, and that's always going to be massively important when it comes to doubles and stage control. C loses his first stock too, and Loba trying to call out for someone here, trying to, uh, you know, distract Renee a little. Didn't pay attention to him, buddy, I'll tell him to fuck off. I did not say that. <laughs> Anywho, a smash attack takes Slater out of it, and so does Panetta's stock go away. There's on the distance, Rene later doing some pretty good damage to this on his second stock. A pretty good job there, and now some tilts coming from Panetta too. The blade beams also help to gain some stage control, however, the red team is really struggling this time around. Oh no, but the Poké team loses his stock, and so does Oba. So we're even Stevens in stocks, however, the foot's still coming from Oba trying to gimp Lucario, however, remember, Lucario's recovery is never something you can be absolutely sure of. He will come back from the depths of the earth. And now Panetta carrying his limit. He can pull out any surprises now. He still has it. However, he is now off stage. Will he be forced to use it? Yes, he uses his limit blade beam trying to get C off of him. He kind of does. He shields it, but he still has to move away. And now Oba takes out later's last talk. He is forced to steal it off a C. And now they're trying to get Panetta to off stage. He doesn't come back. And now Oba is the target. They can get onto him and finish his stock. He has quite a lot of percent. However, Lucario is also in a pretty right percent. This is going to be a 1v1. Later and Panetta looking pretty healthy on their percent still. A side B coming from, oh, sorry, a Mitchell B coming from Rene. Later, still on that platform. Nobody wants to throw any random moves. But back here from Panetta. Takes out later. Takes out C, sorry. But that forward here from Rene too. And goodbye, Oba. And it's a 1v1. Panetta versus later. How is this matchup? Is any of them confident? Panetta utilizing only his fundamentals. A lot of shield grabbing. But now Panetta has his limit ready. He pulls off the limit cross lash, but nothing hits Rene. He tries to pull out the revenge, but it doesn't hit him. And now they're each on their platform. Center stage for Rene. Panetta back on the center stage too, trying to charge his limit as much as he can. Later giving him a lot of room to, to breathe too. Now he's going back to the platform, shielding. Shielding those back airs, and now he takes him. He's out of there. Panetta makes it back to the ledge too. But a limit cross lash, it does it. Amazing DI coming from later, but it wasn't quite enough. This is a 2-0 in favor of Oba and Panetta, but we have at least one more game to worry about still. What's gonna happen? Back to Kalos Pokemon League. They were a bit more comfortable on this stage. They were getting a lot more conversion. And here's the thing, the synergy they felt. That's what's amazing. Thank you. Three, two, one, go! Alright, so we're back into this. Game three, we start in Kalos Pokemon League. Everyone's so happy for me. Thank you, guys. Okay, so finally, Re Rene pulls out a revenge. Later gets that damage onto Owen Panetta. But now we're back into this. C has yet to take any percent, but now Oba with the shield grab. It was about to happen, so yeah, not, not really a commentator's curse. However, the side beats from Renee, they're being so good at reading where the red team is going to land. And now trying to pull off a revenge from the limit cross lash. He doesn't quite get it, but now the red team is at quite the disadvantage here. They are finally juggling later a little bit, but C comes in clutch whenever his partner is in a disadvantage. He is right there to punish the other teammates. Oba in the air, he's very close to losing his first stock. A strong aerial move coming from later is going to do it probably, but he won't make it back into the stage. 
Incineroar's terrible recovery, which has been quite useful sometimes, does some does some cut it. But now Oba 2 loses his stock. Later, pulling up those back hairs and forward hairs, trying to get Panetta to lose his stock, but no. Barely trying to get him. He's gonna be forced to use limit. No, the air dash. Panetta comes clutch and goes back into the stage. Pulls the limit cross slash. It was either going, either going to be that or shield break. So C was losing his stock either way. Unless Rene was there, but he wasn't. And now Panetta 2 loses it. Where even Stevenson stocks once again. And now both members of the blue team out of the stage. They're being let trapped pretty bad. But now they're finally back in there. Oh no, but later hit C, they lose the center stage control they had, and now Panetta sends them back into the ledge, and Oba with a back here on Rene, later loses a second stock. Oba trying to juggle one of their teammates, one of the blue team members, however, he doesn't cut it. A couple of forward smash tests, however, is going to build up 10% on the red team, but Panetta ready to pull off that limit, whatever move that is, Finishing touch, but no, the parries and shields are going to prevent that from going anywhere. We got B out of shield, much like Game & Watch. This is one of the moves that makes or breaks Cloud. Uba barely making it back. Is he going to make it back? No, that didn't cut it. Amazing DI from his part, but the up B came in too early and he wouldn't make it back to the stage. Once again, even on stocks, however, the percents tell another story. There's no stock stealing this time around. Later, oh no, later gives over. He is forced to steal the stock and suddenly it's an even game. All of a sudden, that foot still, that foot still changes everything. And if the blue team makes it past this game, we have a huge buff coming for later too. However, they have to make it past them first. Panetta using his limit right there on the ledge, trying to force later to use tech there, but no, he doesn't make it. Forward smash, that's going to do it for later. If C clutches this out, however, if another foot still were to come, limit cross slash barely doesn't hit Oba. C can still make this, but it's going to be quite a difficult task. He has quite the mountain to climb. A forward smash from Oba hits them both. However, C with quite a bit of percent built into him. A back air, no, a down air. He still makes it back, but no, the ledge re grab, and that's going to be it. Panetta and Oba are in grand finals.